Hi everybody, it's January 23rd, 2021. I'm David Lasso for Coin Television. We're here at the Houston Money Show. And the best part of coin collecting is when the youth is involved. Here's a young collector doing a transaction, going to mark his coin, what he paid for it. It's important that we nurture the young people and get a crop of new people that are interested in coins. What other hobby would combine the history, finance, romance, political propaganda, commemoration of great events, all kinds of things. Blake, why are you here at this coin show? Because like I've been really interested in coins. I've been like I've been keep on filling up my pennies my penny books and like I just I'm just really interested in coins. Wow, what got you interested in coins? Uh my grandpa. Yep, and who who's that? How you doing? All right. Well, Grandpa, tell me about how you got your young grandson interested. I've been collecting coins. I've been collecting coins since I was about nine years old, and uh, and uh, I have a whole bunch of extra coins around. So I got him to start filling out books and uh, starting to show him the difference between a, a good coin and a fine coin and the different grades and just trying to teach them a little bit about it. Well, how cool. And Blake, what do you think about this COVID virus and what's going on? I don't, I don't like it. I, I don't think it's going to ever end until like 20, 30 or something. Yeah. Has it affected your schooling? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. What has it changed in terms of your world, in terms of your school? A lot. It's changed a lot. Like, all the chairs, we have to sit in, like, different chairs, ch chairs between us. It's hard, to, it's hard to just hang out with my friends. All right. And what would you say about coin collecting is, that is the neatest thing about coin collecting? It's, it's really fun. I just, it's, I just like the penny books, like, filling them up. That's really neat. The hunt. Yeah, the hunt. <laughs> And Grandpa, what do you like about coin collecting? Um, I, man, I like how it ties into history, you know, and when you find a coin that's hard to find, there's a reason behind it, and usually it has something to do with the economy of the country, you know, and, and trying to learn more about history as a result. You know. So I'm on my way to do an interview with a young numismatist. He's got a table here at the show, and I always try to promote and encourage the young people that are getting into coins, and here he is, and I'm getting ready to talk to him very shortly. Well, this is the first big show in a while. I haven't been able to get out to that many coin shows yet, and I just like seeing people that I haven't seen in a while. Are you satisfied they're doing everything as a precaution to prevent you getting the virus? Yes. It's boring that you can't go to coin shows out of state now, but it is to prevent the spread of coronavirus, so I do understand. What kind of things are they doing to help prevent? Well, you have to wear a mask to coin shows now. Um, they're limiting the amount of people in coin shows. They have to take your temperature when you enter, and they're spreading out people as best they can. Okay. And we always ask our dealer friends, do you have something really cool to show us? I do. I have an 1834 Classic Head 2.5 and, and a PCGS Mint State 64. These coins do not come very pretty, but this one did. Somebody really had to care for this coin. They really had to take care of it, and it must have been a collector or somebody who appreciated this coin so greatly. You really don't find them that often and definitely not in mint state. This is truly something special. And what kind of value? About 14,000. Wow. How long have you been in the coin business? Since I was five. And how old are you now? 13. And where are your parents and your 
backers here to help you? Yes, they are. They're walking on the Boris floor right now. Okay, and who's your associate? This is Henry. And Henry, what's it like being at a Quinn show? Uh, it's just really uh, amazing to be here because of the coronavirus. We haven't been able to go to many shows lately, so to come to a big show like uh, this one is really a treat. Right, and what's the best part about coin collecting? Uh, probably just when you're coin roll hunting, because I also coin roll hunt, when you find something that you've never expected to find. All right, and what would you suggest both of you as a way to get more people involved in coin collecting? More advertisements at coin shows for younger dealers. I know that U.S. Coins and Jewelry is doing a special right now for young dealers with a, a little collector starter pack right now. I think that is tr the best way to do that. What do you I'd say think? Uh, another way would be to give the youngsters a little bit of a discount. I feel like so they can start their collection off with quite a few more coins than they thought and then when they get older they uh, will be able to buy the coins they want. Pretty much. All right. Well, some people take the time to talk to the young people and do what they can to help them, inspire them for coin collecting. Matthew, you're here during the COVID crisis at the Greater Houston Money Show. Why have you come? I've come because I'm passionate about buying and selling U.S. coins uh, and currency. Very passionate about the hobby. Want to promote promote the hobby, the younger people that have come to the show. I'm very very appreciative that I've been able to come to this this great coin show. Are you confident they're keeping us safe from the COVID virus? Yes, I I, I, I think the precautions are pretty good here. And what kind of things are people looking for? Mostly I've been selling a lot of uh, bullion. Uh, so I sold all my gold yesterday. I'm just down to my last few bars of silver. And I've been selling mostly just bullion. And, and you're a young man. How young are you? I'm 17. And you have your own coin business? Yes. Tell me about how you modeled your coin business. Well, I, well, I enjoy coming to the, the coin shows. And I also do a lot online, on eBay. Like the shows, like communicating with people, making deals at the shows, and also doing online, online business as well. Who got you started? It was lady next door invited me over to see her coin collection, and I started doing the state quarters and everything, and I just just built from there. And I've always been an entrepreneur at heart. So I decided to start buying and selling coins and coming to these trade shows. And what year are you in school and what are you studying? Um, I'm, I'm a junior in high school right now. And I'm probably looking to continue something in the business field, probably. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. And how about we ask our friends, do you have a really cool coin to show us? I, I have a... I have an 1880 trade dollar. It's a proof 64 cameo. Tell me about the trade trade dollar. Why did this strike them, and why is that a good coin? I, I really just like the the proof the proof fields on the trade dollar. So I like the I, I like to the, uh, buy these. It's a pr really nice coin. Really nice design. What are you selling it for? Uh, about. $3,000. How did you know what to pay for it? I, I usually look at the auction records and 
and I have my gray sheet over there, and that, that that's how I uh, that's how I decide what what to pay for it. And how would you suggest other young people get involved in coin collecting? Um, I I would encourage them to to find their local coin club. Uh, just uh, a lot of people there encourage them, encourage young new misfitists uh, come into the shows, and yeah. So you're you're Matthew's dad. What's it like having a young entrepreneur coin dealer? He is uh, pretty fabulous, and uh, he does a great job. It's uh, exciting. We've been doing this for a long time, so. Yeah? Yes, absolutely. Are, are you a coin collector as well? I am a coin collector, but uh, yes, I've been collecting coins for probably 10 years. Right. So, um, but really became more involved as Matthew's interest grew in it. And so as he's grown in his uh, entrepreneurship in terms of his own coin business, I just kind of go along for the ride at this point. Oh, exciting. So, and you're Knights of Columbus. Tell us about that. Yes, that's just uh, obviously a Catholic organization at our church that does good works. Uh, and uh, it's just a great organization to be a part of, if you're, especially if you're a Catholic and uh, Catholic male. Well, peace be with you, and thank Likewise. you for your service. God bless you. God bless. All right. Okay. Thanks, Thanks so much. You're here at the Greater Houston Money Show. During COVID, why have you come? It's been so hard lately to find good quality coins, and there's not a lot of shows that are going on. A lot of shows got canceled. This is one of the best shows in the state of Texas, and I made the hour drive to come down here and find some good quality coins today. Where'd you come from? From College Station, Texas. And what kind of things have you found so far? So today I don't have anything too crazy special, but I have a Barber Half in XF45+. Plus. Now, that sounds common to some people, but the Barber series as a whole is very hard to find in XF and AU grades. You can find them in the lower grades, you can find them in the mint state grades, but some of those XF to AU coins are very, very hard to find and it's very, very hard to put together a set in those grades. Yeah. Can you buy coins from other dealers and still have it be to your advantage? You can. You can, you can definitely buy coins from dealers and still have it be to your advantage. You just have to know how to grade and you have to be familiar with the coin. So my recommendation is find a coin, find a coin type, familiarize yourself with the grade, get used to grading it, and you can always find good deals from dealers. I've started at a young age, I've taught myself series by series, and I typically will only buy series that I'm comfortable with, so that way I think I'm getting a good deal for myself. So this coin in particular, XF grade is about 170 to 175. I paid 180 for this coin because I think it's an XF plus. I think if it had a little bit more luster, this coin goes AU and then it, and it, it'll drastically increase the grade. And so I like to buy coins that are in between like that, that, that are a little bit better for the grade. So I paid a little bit more than just XF plus money. But I think it's a great coin for the grade and it will go very, very nicely into a set. How old are you now? I'm 26. And tell me about your, your schooling. So right now I'm working on a doctorate and so this is how I put myself through school. I buy coins and sell them on the weekends, weekdays, and help put myself for my college tuition.